Hello everyone, this is Gali and welcome to a new episode of Draw with Galidor. So today we're going to draw things from memory because I want to dispel a myth that people who only draw from memory are even better or more talented than the people who don't. And here's why. Even the most professional artists use reference. And that's because we don't know everything. We don't know how everything looks. And even if we reference things and remember them, and we can eventually draw them from memory, that doesn't mean we'll do it correctly most of the time. That's because there's so many things to learn and, well, we don't expect you know, to know everything. So here goes an example. I'm going to try to draw three things. First, a cat from memory. That means I won't be using reference to draw it. I will just be using what I think um, a cat looks like. You know, I will try to draw what I think a cat looks like without you know, using reference. I've drawn cats before, but I'm just going to test how well I can do a cat. So for example, I just do the face. Because I think they have square kind of faces and I know their eyes might be a little down here and there's no they're small I know it looks like a little cartoony that's okay and well I think the neck might be a little short I don't remember so It's okay if you want to erase and redraw your your creature. There's no shame on getting it wrong because that's the point of this exercise. It's to practice and see what you thought you knew about something and then learn a new way to do it. So I think the ribcage is a little like this. I have two cats at home right now that I could look at and reference, but I'm not doing this because I'm trying to prove a point. So I think the legs are a little small and I may have made them a little too tiny. And that little sound was my dog. So if you hear any random things, well, I have a dog and two cats here with me. So I think this is a little too long. Of this is a little faster, okay? But, okay. <laughs> Terrible try for a tail. It doesn't look that bad. It looks quite alright to my imagination standards. And apparently my Photoshop doesn't do this curvy soon anymore, so. Okay, now we're going to go to the internet and grab a picture of a cat. Maybe this works for now, or maybe, I don't know, try to find something of a cat that's looking to the side. Just to prove my, my point. Oh, well this is nice, or this one is nice as well. This is a tiny cat, this one works. I'm gonna grab a random picture from the internet, bring it to my Photoshop, next to my other cat, let that go, and make it smaller. This could be my reference. <clears throat> now, we're going to see what I did wrong. Don't be scared to grab your own drawing and draw a red line on top of it to correct yourself because that's the point of learning. If you're too scared of correcting, you won't do it right. So I will create a new layer on top and I will go over the tiny one. So I see the head, it's quite all right what I did, the same kind of shape so the head looks all right and the neck it's indeed short i made it a little longer so i i did an extra piece here so i might just draw the extra piece so his arms do start here my arm should have started here i would lower the opacity on this one so, as you can see, he has this short forearm, just like the one I drew, so it's okay, I did right. His 
paws look more like this kind of circle so it's a tiny it's a tiny change not really that big next comes his body which is indeed long and a little squarish it might have gone um, a little longer for my cat and I made his ribs look a little strange I know there are different cats different breeds and they would look different because of that but it's okay to to revise what you're doing so for example his legs are just like this leg so this part is okay and then comes what I got wrong a muscle that goes this way and then the short part and then the fingers so yeah I wasn't that far off it was okay so the tail starts right here at the base and it's yeah it's not that long depends on the breed of your cat and the ears do start after the eye ends I knew that and all right so apparently my cat is not that far from the other design I change the color a little because it's a little too bright da, 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 da. okay so yeah we see we didn't get it wrong like that so I recommend you do that with everything you know just reference you don't have to draw on top of the picture but just try to learn what you did wrong in your other um, drawings and learn from that so if you got the arms wrong learn why how the muscles go how the bones work, the different breeds of cats, you know? So you get it right because this is not the only kind of cat. There's hairless cats, Persian cats, different face structures, different tails, fur, whatever. So that was the cat. Now I'm going to try to draw a wolf. Wish me luck. So I will draw them facing the same way because that's faster for the purposes of this video. I'm drawing from memory, okay guys? In this one, I haven't seen a reference picture of a wolf. I'm drawing what I remember a wolf looks like, which is what many people do, and that's okay. Because some, some of them already know how to draw wolves very well. If you already know, that's still good. Just try to keep expanding your knowledge. It's never, never bad to have more ideas to draw more anatomy in this case I really don't know how the paws look like I, I have an idea but I don't know how the bones work I'm working off a vague idea that I had when I drew wolves before you can even draw flowers you don't only have to draw um, animals that's what I do best but okay so we have our wolf here. We'll make him smaller again to make the reference fit. Okay, so you got your wolf. And then you go again to your internet and find a wolf. So as you can see I already googled some wolves. Find someone that looks accurate. Maybe this one is okay find one you really like for example I like this one the one that's looking to the side remember if it's reference you don't really need to you know copyright it because you're not using it you're just learning but I suggest you don't you just don't draw on top of the image claim it as yours because that's stealing okay so we have a wolf here I'm going to erase part of the background so I can see my other wolf and I will grab another color, lower the opacity on my lines, again, and get to drawing. So we can see that his face is more this shape. More like an oval. It also has things to do with the, with the angle of his face. His snout might be a little triangular, just like what I did. His eyes might be smaller and maybe high up, very close to the nose. His neck. His neck is normally 
this month. So yeah, I did okay with the neck and with the face. Then the paws and the legs, they do have this long forearm and then the paw. In this case, I think I might have done something right, because it does look all right. This part here, though, it looks different. So I can see, the, for example, this one would connect to the long form, and then there's this other part, and then there's a, the leg. So then comes the rib cage. In my case, I made the rib cage too small. It's a little thicker. And then, of course, this one is like facing this way, going that way, so it's not straight on. But you can see that he's thicker. And then his legs are long here. That's okay, I did right here. And then you get a very an, a longer leg than what you would get in the cat or in any feline for that matter. And the paws, as you can see, they are longer than a cat's. The fingers are longer. So yeah, you get this again. And then the long part which look more like this than what I drew. And then the tail, which here you cannot see it, but I do know something like that. So again, I will lower the color because it looks too bright. Yeah, you can see that I got some things wrong, some things right based on what I remembered. And this is helping me understand a little more. If you wanna go more in depth, then just check anatomy and grab some books on animals, do research. We have the internet now, so no excuses. Okay, so that's the wolf. You can pause the video at any time to reference or do your own. I'm just gonna keep going. This time, I'm gonna draw a violet, a flower. If you just say violet, I think of this flower that I think looks something, you know, like this. Literally, that's all I know. So you probably hear the word flower and the first thing you draw will be something like this. Or I, I don't know, any kind of drawing you've seen before of a very simplified flower, which would do no just, justice to the actual thing. So if you get a commission or you get an idea to draw anything, anything at all, reference. There's no shame on referencing. So yeah, as you can see, I wasn't that far off in my flower. There's so many different kind of um, shapes in flowers. Nature is very interesting. It has a lot of different shapes for things. So why would we settle to the only one we have in our mind? I don't think that's fair enough. If we have the talent to bring it. Why not just, you know, make it? Apparently I didn't copy. Keep doing weird things, wait. Oh, okay, my computer is betraying me once again. Okay, here it goes. So, you now see I have my little violets here. Have you seen Violet Ever Garden in Netflix? It's a anime series. It's very small. But if you see it, let me know what you think. I like it, I finished watching it. And okay, here it goes. This is my very, very simple flower. It's very sad now compared to the other one because you see I missed most of the details. So okay, what I did was not that far off, but for example, the, this flower has this shape. It's quite it's long. It's not that short. So this is the shape of the petal, and what I did was something like this. Some of the petals might look like this. And in the center of the flower, instead of just having this dot, it has a longer thing. <laughs> I don't know the name, sorry. I know it in Spanish, but it wouldn't help. So for example, I drew the flower, but I don't know how to draw the stem. Well then, look for more pictures that have stems. And for example, I don't know if this one works, the leaves, you see how different they are. So I would just grab any other 
reference that has good leaves because the ones I'm drawing don't have leaves. Okay, this might work. I think this is a different flower. So you see the flower has a different center than the other ones, but the petals look the same. And it has big leaves. Compare these leaves to the one I put in my drawing. And you'll see how different it looks. I don't know if I can put it here. Because my computer sometimes doesn't copy things, which is alright, I guess. I'll try it again. Okay. Okay, it worked. So, you see the leaf I put on my flower is this tiny, ridiculously simple leaf that everybody draws in their flowers. They just go like this and ta-da, you get a flower. Yay, but we're not in kindergarten anymore, so we have to draw different things. What you can do is copy the main shape of your, of your leaf and then add the details. So you see it has like spiky corners, rounded here, <clears throat> quite different than the one I drew, right? So that's the way to do different things. You can even try with buildings, try with boats, textures, like wood and glass, metal, different animals. Try with anything. There really is no limit once you know where to look and what to do. So yeah, that's been all guys. I hope you had fun watching me try and fail to do some things and succeed at others in this drawing. I recommend you do your same exercises, grab a picture or, or first draw from memory, whatever you want, and then correct yourself, learn from yourself or ask for critique, constructive critique, because it will help you grow and it will help you see that no matter how talented you are or how far along your journey, there's always room for improvement. And if you use references, you'll see that what you learn from drawing from memory and using references is quite different. So that's been all. If you like this, please subscribe and click on the bell icon on the top of my profile. That will let you know when I submit new videos. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.